Whoa, man. Where are you going with that? Where are you going? Dude. Dude. Oh, come on. What's going on, guys? Joe R. Vintage Pokemon, and today we're going to be opening up a Celebrations Elite Trainer Box. And to start things off, I want to actually show you guys this thing, because this is really cool. I know a lot of people are already aware of this, but uh, you can actually get these plastic cases at Target for 10 bucks. Uh, saw it dropped on uh, a Twitter, actually, because I've been following Twitter a lot, trying to hunt down that UPC, which I still don't have. But um, the hunt continues. But this dropped, and I got the case. It's literally a perfect fit. It's meant for food. It's a plastic case for food, but it is quite literally the perfect size for the Elite Trainer Box. So I picked that up again at uh, Target. Uh, so check it out. Definitely really neat that it fits it so incredibly snug and nice. I mean, look at this thing. It's just like the perfect size. So again, I, I found this on Target's website and I just picked my best looking Elite Trainer Box and shoved it in there. I mean, it looks so damn nice. So again, check that out when you get the chance because that's really cool. But we are opening up our own Elite Trainer Box today. And you know what's funny is that I've got a bunch of these, uh, but I'm, I'm basically opening up the worst condition ones first. And I took a look and this one's got a little tear in it. So I was like, oh, you know, we're just going to open up that one then. So without further ado, let's take the rest of this lovely wrapping off. It's funny because this is like a far cry from the vintage booster boxes of yesteryear, which um, were definitely more box-like in my opinion. It was literally a box with cards inside, and this is kind of like a fancy pants sleeve that a kind of crate is inside of, which is kind of neat. So it's nice that you can kind of keep it looking nice by keeping the sleeve intact. I'll put that off to the side. And it comes with the book here. And what's nice about the book is that it actually shows you inside, I believe, a list of all of the different cards and the types of rarities that are inside of the box, which is kind of neat, including all the classic cards. And we are hunting for the big four here. We pulled the Gold Star Umbreon off camera. I keep saying that. We'll get rid of this book here for now. Whoop. Here's our box. As you guys know, we're just going to open up the Celebrations packs. We're not we're not really too big on any other packs that are inside here. So we're just going to be going for those. There we've got the card game rules. I can go off to the side as well. And we're going to take this out. Let's see. There's our packs there on the right. Sleeves and I, probably the Greninja card. The Gold Star Greninja is on the left. I know it's not the most rare card in the world or anything, but I think the Greninja Gold Star is really, really cool. I think it's going to age quite well, actually, because it's just such a neat-looking card. I mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, we've got Darkness of Blaze, so let's first uh, just get out of the way, because we're not going to open them anyway. We've got one, two, three, four, five additional packs. Looks like we got Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, one Vivid Voltage, two Darkness of Blazes, uh, battle styles and a chilling rain so that that's pretty neat that we've got got those five packs put those off to the side and you can literally you can literally uh flip those packs if you don't don't care about them like i do and you like just the celebrations you can take those packs put them on ebay or put them on facebook marketplace whatever you could sell those make some of your money back and it makes the cost to pack ratio for celebrations a lot more friendly, and I think that's a good way of going about it. So we've got 10 packs here. Oh, we want to pull out. Where's that Greninja Gold Star? Let's see. Ah, here we go. Got our Greninja Gold Star, which uh, looks very nice. I think this one actually is pretty nicely centered, actually. The first one I took out was not well-centered at all, so this is, this is a really nice copy right here. I'm going to have to take this guy and sleeve him up. But we've got 10 packs to get through, so I think we should get started so this video doesn't get too long. Hopefully we get some really nice pulls. As always, try to keep the pack art looking nice. Not that we're doing that for any particular reason. You know they've got like first edition base set packs that are just empty wrappers and they sell for like 50 bucks. 
Obviously, that's not going to happen to these, at least not for a very long time. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. The journey begins. We've got a Cosmog, pack number one. Zekrom. Oh, we got a Luxray. How about that? So we pulled, pulled ourselves a classic card. First pack in, we got the Luxray. Okay, so that, that's really cool. It's not the ones that I'm necessarily going for. And the Zamazenta V. So we've got some, some cool stuff right off the bat. Luxray level X card. And we got Zamazenta Z. And there you have it, the code card for those of you out there that would like that. All right, so we're going to put that off to the side. We got that. We're going to put Zamazenta Z off over here. I think we've actually pulled Zamazenta Z before anyway. Not as hard to pull that. That card's definitely tough to pull. All right, so we've got pack number two. Hopefully, we could get some good stuff in this. So that's cool. It's cool. We got a hit in our first pack. It's not... Celebration packs are a lot of fun to open. They really are. But when you get a dud pack that has literally nothing in it, it's just four regular cards from the primary set, the 25 card set, it's not it's not as much fun. So uh, hopefully we just get a lot, a lot of good hits. Okay. I don't know what it is. Obviously, like the full art Pikachu isn't super rare, but something about it, you pull it and you just feel like it's still not the worst pack in the world. All right, so we've got Palkia, Zekrom, and Solgaleo. See, that, that, that's what I'm talking about. There's your code card, guys. You pull a pack like that, and you're like, damn, that, that kind of sucks. That was a little bit of a waste, but, you know, it's all right. Here we go. It's interesting if you uh, check out things like, like Twitter, Facebook, or some of the forums. The pull rates for a lot of these cards has been somewhat announced. After so many packs, it's kind of been figured out what the pull rates kind of look like. And obviously, some, some of the classic cards are harder to pull than others. All right, so we've got pack number three, Xerneas, Kyogre, Cosmog for the billionth time. And we've got the full art Pikachu. See, you know, I've got like five of these already, but it just doesn't seem like as much of a bust when you pull the full art Chunky Cheeks needs to go on a diet Pikachu because he, I, he's just he's just too too good. He's too good. He's too classy, you know? All right. Pack number four. We're looking for a hit. We're looking for a hit. Haven't had one in a little while now. Would like to have one. There we go. We got Groudon. Lugia. Way, look at that. Oh, we got the Venusaur from base set. Ah, oh, man, that, that's too cool. All right, so look at that. Look at that. We've now got, and over here, way, we have a Professor's Research. There's, there's your code card, by the way. Whoop, get rid of that. So check that out. We now have the Venusaur. And we've got the Blastoise, and we got the Professor's Research, which is like, uh, you get this guy one in every, like, 25 packs, I think is the ratio. We've now pulled three of these. Um, so I think I've opened maybe about 25 packs, and I've got three of these guys already. So he's not exactly too much of a heavy hitter for me anymore, but let's take one more look at this guy here. Uh, centering's not terrible, a little off uh, left to right. Backside should be really clean. That's a nice card. And you can't go wrong with the classic cards. So now we've got the Blastoise. We've got the Venusaur. Oh, man, if we could, in these last few packs, pull ourselves a Charizard, that would just be, that would be hella awesome. It would be. It would be. It would be amazing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six packs left. So that was the fourth pack. We got six packs left. We should get one or two more classic cards at the very least. So hopefully we can get something good. All right. So already it's a good box. It's a good box. We've got two really nice classic cards. 
We got Professor Oak's research. We got a Chunky Chew. We can't go wrong pulling ourselves a Chunky Chew. Damn, you know, the first couple times I opened these packs, I was so good about saving the pack art. Now it's just like, I can't do it anymore. I don't know. Cosmog. Another Lugia. A Yvetel. Shocking that it took this long to pull. And Surfing Pikachu V. Again, it's nice when you pull a full art like that. Surfing Pikachu V. That's a beautiful card. And we get ourselves a nice code card there. Check that out, folks. That's a nice card. Okay, so we're going to put that guy down. All right. Five left. Five left. Come on. Stay nice, guys. Let's go. Get your life together. All right. Here we go. Next pack, next pack. I love how I'm trying to save the pack art still, even though it's just failed me miserably this entire time so far. There we go. This one, this one. Mmm. I can smell a winner. Came out nice. Xerneas. Yvettel. Kyogre. Maybe it's not a winner. Sogaleo. No, it's not a winner. You know what I've noticed? I pull Sogaleo when the pack's a bust. Seriously, though, I mean, it seems like every time I pull Sogaleo, it's in a bust pack where there's just not any classic cards involved. Which is unfortunate, because Sogaleo is kind of cool, but can't do much with him. It's just, just a lion that gets his power from the sun, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, we a shocker. Yvetful. All right. Dialga. I don't have too many Dialgas, actually. Let's see. We got Lugia again. And Flying Pikachu V. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. We got the Flying Pikachu V now. We got the Surfing Pikachu V, the Flying Pikachu V. That's a pretty wholesome box so far that we've got. Okay, we'll put that off to the side. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's see. Three packs left. Three packs left that we've got for ourselves. We've already got the Heavy Hitter Venusaur and the Luxray, but we've got three left, and we're hoping for some end-of-the-run magic here. The Mew, the Charizard, those are the two big ones that I'm still after. Man, it'd be cool to get those. It'd be really cool. I actually I don't have the Shining Magikarp yet either. If I could get the Shining Magikarp, that would be awesome also. So we're really hoping for one of those three. We've got Reshiram, Kyogre. Hey, the Rockets Zapdos. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, let's go. And we got Professor's Research. Get out of here, you. And there's your code card, guys. Sweet. Sweet. So we've got the Rocket Zapdos. I was still missing that one. So that's an awesome classic card for us to pull. Okay, backside looks really cool. It's crispy. And obviously, these are not going to get graded anytime soon. I, I personally love uh, PSA. That's what I grade with. Um, too bad that, you know, the Holofoy, I think a lot of people have commented on this. This card has a sick background in front of, I think, the power plant or with clouds in the background. You almost, you can't even tell because the, the Holofoil pattern in this particular variation of this card it's just so consuming it's really tough to see what's going on back there but that's a really nice classy card from the gym challenge set and it wouldn't surprise me if they do something like this again in the future and they just release more sets you know because they didn't give any love to like gym heroes neo genesis got cleffa but be cool if we got the lugia Seriously, I think that was kind of the biggest... That was probably, in my opinion, the biggest miss of this set, is that they didn't go with the Neo Genesis Lugia. That would have been an amazing classic card. And I get it. I get why they didn't do it, but still, it would have been sick. We saved that pack card. We did. We did. We saved it. Ho-Ho. I don't think we had a Ho-Ho yet today. We've got Zekrom. Can we make it a twofer? No. We got Cosmog. And last but not least... We got the Chunky Chew. All right. Like I said, it's just not its not as devastating when you're talking about diabetic Pikachu. All right, so got that. He's off to the side. Last one. 
Last pack magic. We're going to blow on for good luck. Off camera. There we go. All right. This one. This is the one. This is the one. So three classic cards pulled. That's about right for the ratio. You know, you're, you, you get about three. You get about one every three packs. So that's about right. So this one could could be a classic card, might not be a classic card, but usually it's about three in a box, I think. Cosmog. Clay Doll. Clay Doll, classic card. Okay, so we managed to hit on the last pack. Get a little magic. We pulled the Clay Doll Hollow, and that's 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 a great way to finish. It's a great way to finish. And of course, we've got yourselves a code card. And we get the Mew. So we pulled four classic cards. Two of them really hit home for me because they're from vintage sets when Wizards of the Coast was top of their game, so to speak. And we'll just take a quick look at them all now. They're going to get sleeved up. We've got Claydol, Rocket Zapdos, and Venusaur. Three gorgeous classic cards. Guys... Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more pack openings of some vintage modern product like this good old 25th anniversary celebration nonsense that we have going on here. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun opening this stuff up. It's cool opening it up with you guys, and hopefully we can get the Charizard that we're searching for. I'm not going to open up 500 packs. I know some people say that they went 500 and didn't get what they wanted. I'm hoping that we get it in the ratio that most people have found the Charizard in, which is around 100-ish to 150 packs. And uh, hopefully we can add it to our collection. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. We're going to be opening up more. Hopefully I get a UPC sometime in the near future because I, I'm really looking forward to that. By the way, UPC, Ultra Premium Collection, for anybody not aware of that. And Mr. Panda, Mew, we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.